Hey guys, have you ever heard of Michael Phelps before? If you watch the Olympics, I think you will know who is Michael Phelps. But if you're not a fan of the Olympian Games, then Michael Phelps is one of the greatest swimmers in history of the Olympic Games. And he has won so many medals. So today, let's learn all about Phelps' incredible career, how he trained to become the greatest Olympian of all time. This book covers all about Michael Phelps' life and his career. Real Gold Michael Phelps pushed us off the starting block for his first event of the 2016 Olympic Games. U.S. swimmer superstar Michael Phelps was fired up at 2016 Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. His toes gripped starting block. Fans cheered and shouted. When I was on the block, I honestly thought my heart might explode out of my chest, Phelps said. I was so hyped tonight and so excited. Phelps and his teammates were swimming in a relay race. The 4 multiply 100 meter freestyle relay was in his first event at the Rio Olympics, but Rio was in his first Olympic Games. Phelps had already won more Olympic medals than any athlete in history. Phelps swims his part of the relay and puts his team in the lead. When teammate Celeb Drizé finished the first leg of the race, Phelps burst into the pool. His long arms pulled him through the water. His legs thrashed behind him. He raced as fast as 6 miles, 10 kilometers per hour. At the end of Phelps' leg, the United States had a big lead. Phelps, after racing his leg of the 4 multiply 100 meter freestyle relay at the 2016 Rio Olympics, the Michael Phelps Olympics. Phelps celebrated his 8th gold medal at the Beijing Olympics. Michael's journey to Olympic glory began in Baltimore, Maryland, where he was born on June 30, 1985. His older sister swam. The United States often wins this Olympic relay, but at the 2012 Olympics in London, England, the French team won the race. They finished less than half a second in front of Phelps and the U.S. team. In Rio, Phelps and his teammate wanted to make up for the loss in London. Jose and Phelps had given Team USA a big lead. Ryan Held and Nathan Adrian swam next. Adrian finished the race less than one second before friends to win the gold medal. It was the 23rd Olympic medal of Phelps' great career. It was his 19th gold medal, which is an all-time record. But Phelps wasn't done yet. He still had five more events to swim at the Rio Olympics. That meant five more chances for gold for the greatest Olympic champion of all time. Phelps second from right and his relay teammates celebrate winning gold medals at the 2016 Rio Olympics. So Michael Swam too. Michael Swam in just one event at the 2000 Olympics in Sydney, Australia. He finished fifth and then earned a medal. While in Sydney, he watched some of the world's best swimmers. Michael wanted to become a superstar just like them. Michael kept training. He worked harder than ever. In 2001, he swam the 200 meter butterfly in an event in Austin, Texas. He won the race in the fastest time. So Michael swam too. By the time he was 11 years old, Michael was competing against older kids at the North Baltimore Aquatic Club. Soon, he was beating them. By 2000, 15-year-old Michael was one of the best swimmers in the country, but no one expected a 15-year-old to make the U.S. Olympic team. Then, he swam at the Olympic trials and shocked everyone. He became the youngest male swimmer to make the U.S. team in 68 years. Phelps claimed a gold medal at the 2004 Olympics in Athens. 
ever recorded a set to a world record. Michael went on a shocking winning streak two years later. He set even world records in just a few months. At the 2004 Olympic Games in Athens, Greece, Phelps was big news. He was the most famous U.S. athlete at the games. He proved that he was also the best swimmer in the world. Phelps earned eight medals, six gold, and two bronze. But before Athens Games had even ended, he was talking about the 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing, China. People joked that Beijing Games should have been called the Michael Phelps Olympics. He raced in seven events and won them all. After that, he had just one race left. The four multiply a 100 meter medley relay. If he and his team could win it, Phelps could hold the record for most gold medals ever won at an Olympics. Phelps won the third part of the relay, the butterfly. When he dove into the water, the U.S. team was in the third place. Phelps swam faster than any of the other swimmers. When he finished his leg, the United States had the lead. The fourth swimmer jumped into the pool. He stayed in first place to help his team win the race. With eight gold medals in Beijing, Phelps had become an Olympic legend. Sports fans around the world were amazed by how, by what he had done. There's so much emotion going through my head, and so much excitement, Phelps said. I was kind of just want to see my mom. Phelps found his mom and sisters in the crowd and gave them each a kiss. Eat, swim, sleep. Olympic swimmers are some of the fittest athletes in the world. Phelps doesn't even want a tiny bit of a body fat to slow him down in the pool to reach his fitness goals. Phelps works hard, really hard. He says that he has time for just three things when training for a meet. Eating, swimming, sleeping. That's pretty much it. Phelps trains six days a week for five or six hours each day. He may swim as many as 50 miles, 80 kilometers a week. He swims long distances to make his heart run long strong. He swims in short bursts to improve his quickness. He practices that strokes he'll use during meets. Felt also works with gear such as paddles and buoys. The gear helps him focus on certain parts of his body to make them stronger. Doctors said most men should eat a little more than 2,000 calories a day. Felt used a to eat that much for breakfast. When he trained for the 2004 Olympics, he had as many as 12,000 calories per day. He needed the extra calories to keep his strength up during his long workouts. Phelps ate three sandwiches in a five egg omelet. He downed French toast and coffee. He gobbled pancakes with chocolate chips, all for breakfast. Then he went to the pool and burned the calories. He also burns calories in the weight room. Phelps started strength training after the 8th Olympics. He lifts weights and does push-ups and pull-ups. He had fewer calories to burn in recent years. Phelps eats less as he grows older. That's because he didn't spend as much time in the pool as he did when he was younger. He ate fewer than 4,000 calories a day before the 2016 Olympics. Star Goals Phelps teaches kids to be safe in the water through the Michael Phelps Foundation. In 2008, Michael Phelps had a deal with Speedo. The swimwear company agreed to pay him $1 million if he could tie all the time record in gold medals. Phelps collected the money after he won. Eight gold medals in Beijing to be all the time record. Then he gave the money away. Phelps used $1 million to start the Michael Phelps Foundation. The group teaches kids about water safety and health for living. It also asks him to set goals, which has been a big part of Help's success. He also went on a tour to share his message with people across the United States. Fox became one of the world's biggest sports superstars the Beijing Olympics. Since then, he has appeared 
on tons of TV shows. He hosted Saturday Night Live in 2008. He has been on Entertainment Tonight Late Night with Jimmy Fallon, Good Morning at America, and many other programs. The cover of Sports Illustrated magazine has shown Phelps 11 times. After the 2016 Olympics, Phelps appeared on the TV shows America's Got Talent. He talked about setting goals and working to reach them. It's what made him an Olympian champion. I started goal setting at like 9 years old. He said I dream for the stars and dream for the biggest possible thing I could think of. Instant Star Bell became a father three months before the 2016 Olympic Games. His fiancée, Nicole Johnson, gave birth to a boy called Boomer. Boomer, of course, became an instant star. Boomer was in the stand of all his dad's races in Rio. His mom and grandmother Deborah cheered for Phelps while Boomer napped or watched Boomer's red, white, and blue outfits were hit on the internet. So were the tiny headphones he wore to protect his ears from the noise of the crowd. Swimming away with history. Phelps received a trophy for being the greatest Olympic athlete of all times at the 2012 Olympics. Phelps won five gold medals at the Rio Olympics. He added a silver medal for an incredible total of 28 career Olympic medals. Many fans believe that number will never be matched. Phelps won't be adding more medals to his collection. He said after Rio that he could retire from swimming. He had plenty of things to keep him busy on dry land. Bob Brownman coached Phelps for many years. In 2015, Bellman became the coach of the Arizona. State University ASU swims team. Phelps plans to help coach the team. He'll live with his family with a home he'll purchase in Paradise Valley, Arizona. The $2.53 million home has five bedrooms. And of course, a pool. Phelps and Johnson plan to get married in 2016. They talked about everything, everyday things, such as whether to buy a car or a minivan. They focus on Boomer. Phelps is excited to spend more time with Boomer and wants to be involved with every part of his life. Some fans and fellow swimmers don't think Phelps will stay retired. After all, he said he was going to retire in 2012 before getting back in the pool. People often ask if he's really going to quit this time. I am finally re ready to retire, Phelps said. This time, coming back and being if coming back and be able to finish how I did. It was exactly how I wanted to do it. And that's the end of this book. I hope you enjoy Michael Falk's story. I certainly love his story. So bye-bye.